Have you ever wondered where the sun goes at night? Does it hide beneath the ocean? Or maybe it goes to sleep behind the mountains? Or perhaps it's playing a game of hide and seek with the moon? These are all fun thoughts. But you know what? The sun isn't really sneaking off anywhere. It's all about something called the Earth's rotation. Hmm, that sounds a bit tricky, doesn't it? Well, the sun isn't really going anywhere. It's all about the Earth's rotation. But what exactly does that mean? Imagine spinning a toy top. It goes round and round, doesn't it? Similarly, our Earth also spins, but much slower. This spinning of the Earth is what we call rotation. Now let's imagine you're standing on a spinning top. As it spins, different parts of the room come into your view, right? That's kind of what happens with the Earth and the Sun. Here's a fun fact. The Earth spins on an invisible line called an axis. Think of it as an imaginary stick going right through the Earth from the North Pole to the South Pole. This axis is like the string of a spinning top that makes it spin around. Now how long do you think it takes for the Earth to spin around once? A minute? An hour? Nope. It takes 24 hours for the Earth to make one full spin on its axis. This is why we have 24 hours in a day. During this rotation, different parts of the Earth face the Sun at different times. When your part of the Earth is facing the Sun, it's daytime for you. You wake up, go to school, play with your friends, and do all the things you usually do in a day. But when your part of the Earth turns away from the Sun, it's nighttime for you. It's dark because the Sun is not shining on your part of the Earth. You have dinner, brush your teeth, put on your pajamas, and go to bed. Just like how a spinning top doesn't stop spinning instantly, the Earth doesn't stop spinning either. It keeps rotating, even while we're sleeping. And that's why, when we wake up, it's a new day and the sun is rising again. So, when we say the sun is setting, it's really the Earth turning away from the sun. Isn't that an amazing thing to think about as you watch the sunset tonight? So if the Earth is always spinning, how does this cause day and night? Well, it's quite simple, really. Imagine you're spinning around in a circle. When you're facing towards a light, you can see it, right? But when you turn away from the light, it becomes dark. The same thing happens with the Earth and the Sun. You see, our Earth is like a big blue and green ball, constantly spinning in a circle, or as we say, rotating. Now the Sun, which is a huge bright star, stays in one place. When the Earth spins, different parts of it face the Sun at different times. When your part of the Earth is facing the Sun, it's like looking at the light in our earlier example. The Sun's light reaches us, and we call this time, day. Everything is bright and you can see everything around you clearly. But as the Earth continues to spin, your part of the Earth slowly turns away from the Sun. It's like turning away from the light. The Sun's light can't reach us anymore, and we call this time, night. It becomes dark, and we can see the moon and stars in the sky. So, the Sun isn't really going away at night. It's just that our part of the Earth is turned away from it. So let's summarize what we learned today. We embarked on a journey of discovery to understand where the sun goes when it's night. The truth is, the sun doesn't really go anywhere. It's just that we can't see it because of something called Earth's rotation. Our planet, Earth, is like a big spinning top, constantly turning around. When our part of the Earth faces the sun, it's daytime for us. But when our part of the Earth turns away from the sun, it becomes nighttime, and it appears as if the sun has gone away. But in reality, the sun is still there, shining bright. It's just that we can't see it because we're facing the other way. So the sun's disappearing act at night is really just a grand illusion, thanks to our spinning Earth. So next time when you see the sun setting, remember, it's not going anywhere. It's just the Earth's turn to spin away. Goodbye, and keep wondering.